This is a Qualcast Cultimatic B66. I'm just going to give a little walk around tour of it. Uh, it's quite a good little rotavator, strong enough. It's like a Suffolk Punch lawnmower engine on the front. It's the same kind of thing, one of the old Suffolk Iron Foundry engines or their modern Derby equivalent made in, I think it's made in Derby, or somewhere in the West Midlands. This one's had the engine swapped at some stage because the exhaust used to come out up the top and now it just comes out the side so this bracket's been made up for it. I've just put a new belt on it which is in there. Below the belt is the clutch mechanism which if I pull the clutch lever it just puts a bit of tension on that belt and that's enough to drive the rotors. The rotors are down here. There's four, two on each side and each one is held to the other one which in turn is held to the central shaft with a little kind of spring clip. On the front it's got a transport wheel which is which has this cotter pin going through it and it's hinged up here on this bolt. You see that slot there rests on either this bolt here or this pin here clips in up here so it slides out and it's got a spring mechanism. You can see the tip end of the spring there and it just locks in place. So it sits up like this when you're not moving it around. It's always ready to go. So on the other side, what have we got? The fuel tank up on top, the pull starter, engines there, the governor arrangement here, fuel line, choke, air filter, the clutch fuel from the other side. There's really not much to the clutch. It's the oil fill, fill there and that's the oil fill for the engine. This one, Burmid Qualcast Cultimatic B66. That's the depth skid. You can raise or lower it with this pin. And there's a handlebar adjustment as well. So you just slacken that off. And you remove the bolt running through it. And you can raise or lower the handlebars to three settings. And you can also I took it right forward. You can also fold it up for transport. Like that. Let's get that bolt back in. The controls up at this end. This one has a little throttle and a clutch. And that's pretty much it. There's very little to it. That's it with the wheel up there for motivating. And the other thing is you can you can bring it down to two wheels if you two blades if you want. And you can also probably get the Mary Tiller attachments that put road wheels on this so you could use it to pull a little trailer or something like that as well. It only has one speed but you can govern it with the with the throttle so you can go faster or slower that way.